Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome everyone to another video. Now, if you're looking at the title, you're probably thinking, oh, this is a tutorial. Well, it's sort of a tutorial, but it's kind of more of like a push in the right direction uh, in terms of people that want to create a first person shooter. The thing that I'm showing you right now is a project that I worked on a while ago. And some of you that are in here and probably watching this video have probably seen the other videos that I created about this project, kind of going through the scopes and some of the systems that I created. Now, there's a few things that I want to go over uh, before I start showing you some of the mechanics that I made for this. Uh, one, I made this a while ago and it was a prototype and I don't, I don't even think I took that much time to make it. Um, a lot of the systems are kind of bad. They're not exactly the cleanest way of doing things. And to be honest, there's a couple issues with it. Uh, in this video, I kind of want to go over the aim down sight system, since that seems to be the most popular thing at the moment. Um, if you want to see more systems that I created, uh, let me know down in the comments below. Um, honestly, I don't recommend using this system entirely. However, um, for those that are kind of lost and don't really know what to do, I think this is kind of a step forward in a sense that will give you an idea as to how you want to build your system. Um, when I created this, I was kind of like, okay, hey, uh, I'm going to get a socket and I'm going to attach things to that socket. I'm going to have the camera kind of lurp to that socket, that kind of stuff. Uh, I'll quickly show you what I'll basically show in a sense as to like what you can create. Um, I'll show you some of the nodes and some of the system. Um, but honestly, I, I feel like the best thing to do is to take some of the stuff that I made here and try to improve it in your own way, because there are a couple issues. I'm going to show you one of the main issues with this system is that in first person shooters, when you're going from the crosshair or uh, on the hip and then going down, uh, aiming down your sight, you usually want it to be one to one where the crosshair is. However, in this system, it's not one to one. So I can kind of demonstrate this. So I'm, I'm looking at this sharp end of this rock here. And what it's typically supposed to do is it's supposed to aim right on the corner, but it's not. That's because the system isn't all that fantastic. Um, there's like a lot of issues with it. Um, so that's one of the main issues is that you're going to have to find a way to resolve that. And I think one of the things is probably taking the current system, which is uh, essentially taking your camera. It's taking two cameras. So it has an aim down sight camera and has a first person camera. Now, for those wondering, I built this a long time ago. I haven't even taken a look at it all that much yet. Uh, I kind of just got an idea of how it's working and then... Uh, I looked at it and I'm like, oh, there's a couple issues with this. Honestly, it could probably be done in a better way. I think one of the things is um, I have two cameras for some unknown reason. And all that's happening is I'm setting the field of view of the camera. And then I'm attaching or setting a world transform of our camera. And this is through a timeline. So it's going to kind of lerp. It's going to do it over time um, to the location, which is a socket name on our weapon mesh, which is either, you know, scope or iron, iron sight. This is something that you would preset inside of the static mesh. Um, now this workflow isn't too bad. I think if I edited it, it could be a little better. I think the main thing is you probably don't need two cameras. What you can probably play around with is trying to set the uh, hands or the, the first person hands. You can see there's like three characters here. Um, but setting your first person hands and kind of moving it along where the socket is and making it so the socket is exactly centered to your camera. And that's probably a better way of doing this so that you're not having any issues with the crosshair uh, misaligning and that kind of stuff. But to those that really wanted to see the system, it's basically just we're setting the aim down sight camera as the active one and disabling the other camera. We're setting a Boolean, and this is for specific stuff like checking for aiming down sight while, you know, maybe doing other actions, that kind of stuff. Then we can like reset it, uh, that sort of stuff. The scope check is literally just to check if we have a scope attachment. This is all really work in progress. This is stuff I, you know, stopped working on. I didn't, I haven't been working on this in probably a year and a half. Um, but if I had this fleshed out, it would have a lot more nodes in here. 
uh, is just to check if we have a scope. And then when you have a scope, what you'd want to do is you'd want to have a separate socket. And then that would be the master socket rather than your iron sight socket. Um, so you'd have a bunch of sockets and that would basically be the the way that you'd move things around with your character's hands. Um, so I'd play around with things like that rather than having two cameras. So we have the timeline going in through here and then all we're doing is attaching it at the end. So once we've gotten it, uh, once we have all that lerping and stuff, that animation in a sense, um, moving the weapon to the camera, uh, we're basically just attaching it and this is a way of like, oh, hey, now it's snapping, now we can move around properly. Um, like I said, not exactly the cleanest way of doing things. Um, I think your best bet is to probably uh, have a timeline and then make it so you have a socket and instead of moving your camera and having two cameras, what you can do is keep the camera in the same spot but move your player's hands uh, and the socket is basically the thing that's moving it towards the camera. That's probably the best way of doing it. Um, I'm not sure how to do that. I haven't played around with it. Um, if you want me to, I could try and take a, take a gander at it. But honestly, I think if uh, you try to do it yourself, uh, for those that are kind of new to UE4, you're definitely going to learn a lot if you take that one step forward into trying to create something yourself. Um, but yeah, hopefully that helps you guys out. Uh, if you want me to create some more videos on this project, I, I honestly... Uh, haven't really done much on it. I, I kind of abandoned it in a sense. I still have the project files and everything, but I, you know, left it. It's not really something that I want to work on at the moment. I'm super busy working on Ronin 2072, but uh, I'm all ears in terms of tutorials and stuff because that's something I really do want to do. I kind of want to create a full course on how to make a game at some point, probably after working on Ronin 2072, and we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah. Thank you for joining in. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Uh, and if you need any help at any time, feel free to join the Discord or the Twitch stream at any time. You know, live. You can ask me questions and I'll try to help you out. Other than that, hope you have a fantastic evening. I'll see you later.